Chad Brendel, Bearcat Journal. Friday at higher ground, almost, almost to the finish line. Here with Ethan Wright, Ethan. Uh, the move to safety has looked shockingly natural for you. You look pretty good out there. How's yeah. it felt? Uh, you know, the first couple of days it was it was a little fast out there. Kind of was like like I was a freshman again. But after the first two practices, I kind of was able to slow the game down again with uh, the help from my from my position group, Hicks, uh, Brian Drex, Mario Smith, you know, Dingle. They all helped me out. Coach Hitch has really helped me get a grasp over the whole defense and learn it so I can slow the game down and see what I need to see. I, I know you're a guy that has said you you, you loved that. offense. Has it does that flipped a little bit now that you're back on the other side? I'm gonna be honest, I love playing the game of football. So regardless if you put me on wherever you put me on the field, I'm gonna have fun and you know I just like playing a game truly and that's just that's just what I love to do. So if it's gonna be a running back, if it's gonna be a safety, I'm just gonna enjoy whatever it is. How is uh, just playing the other side now? Did playing offense help you as you're transitioning back over to defense? Definitely. I think the ability to learn running back helped me, you know, grasp how I was going to treat learning safety too and how all the installs were coming in and the plays. I think I was able to put what I did on offense and do it on defense too. I gave you a little bit of a hard time early because you dropped a couple picks. Yep. You've been better since then. Is it just a matter of running the other way yeah, I think that's, that throws you off? Yeah, I think when you're when you're on offense, you know what route you're running, you know what you, when the ball's going to come. And I think I'm getting a little too excited on defense. And I, I get there and I'm right where the ball is, but then I'm like, oh, wow. Like, now I, I got to catch it. <laughs> I forget about that sometimes. So, you know, it's getting better. I'm working on it. And I, I don't think that'll be a problem. Been running more. You're getting more reps with the twos. Mm -hmm. feel like you're... You're moving up appropriately as you're kind of getting up to speed and, and yep. find, finding everything out? Yeah, Hicks, Hicks has really been helping me out and helped me learn, get more comfortable back there. So really good props to him and props to Coach Hitch for really helping me here. Safety is uh, the hot position here, right? Everybody tight end you or this, that, but yeah. Wiggins, Forrest, Cook. You know, Javon is going to have his shot to, yeah. to earn it this year. Is that kind of exciting for you? Like, you know what? This place is churning out NFL yeah. talent. That's really exciting to me. And uh, I think I I told uh, someone that Tyron Matthews was my favorite college football player ever. So, you know, just finally being at safety and being in that position where I can, you know, play there. And, you know, we already have a history of great safeties coming through Cincinnati. I, I'm, I'm excited to try to be a part of that one day. T tell me about Coach Hitch, Some, something people don't know about Coach Hitch. Like, uh, he's obviously a very good safeties coach, mm -hmm. but but what else is he like? What, what, what makes him tick? He's a corn, cornball, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he already knows that. People know that about him, though, but, you know, he's funny. He's He really likes the mood of the, the uh, position room. When it, it might be tense, we might have a scrimmage coming up. He's really good at making our minds at ease and making us at peace before so we're not wasting energy before a scrimmage or before a practice but we don't need to be so he's really good at that but what's kind of weird is you're outside of Javon you're like the old guy yeah has that been kind of awkward like adjusting to I'm new here but I'm not new right for sure so uh there's there's certain things where I can be a leader in but you know I, I have to step up and learn my my stuff about safety before I can truly lead the group you know how good can this defense be replacing everything that you guys lost? And I know everybody in the country thinks Cincinnati's not going to be able to do it again. I've been out here watching two and a half weeks. Yeah. How good can you guys be? Because I think can be pretty damn good. Yeah, this, this defense is going to be really good. And we got the, the defensive line, and all of them are great. And the communication in the back end of it, I think that's what's going to set us apart this year because I think the communication is a lot better and the way we can play with each other and not just like by ourselves and individual. I think that's going to be really special, really show on game day when we play against Arkansas. What, what have you seen from the quarterback battle? They're both great. And you know, I'm, I'm excited to just see whoever you know, gets the spot. You know both of those guys really well. Mm -hmm. you, you, you've really been back there with, the, with them both. Yeah, they keep asking me to come back and running back. And, <laughs> you know, I, I don't have control over that right now, but I think it, whoever gets to start and whoever wins the competition, they're going to be great. And both of those players are great players. This wide receiver room's a little bit of a problem. That this wide receiver's tight ends, mm -hmm. the pass catcher's a little bit of a problem to deal with back yeah, there, right? for sure. Tell me, yeah. tell me about the strengths. And I mean, I know you're, you're looking more tight ends and, and yeah, but Overall, they yeah, put a lot Tyler of stress Scott, on you. Uh, Trey, Trey Tucker, both uh, 3 3 guys where I'm from. So seeing those guys, you know, have a really good camp, it's really exciting because 
they're from back home. I played against high, played against them in high school, so they're, they're going to have a really good yes. year. And all the wide receiver cores, really truly talented. You had that label of like you know small town, small school kid. Mm -hmm. He doesn't play the right. Does it feel good to validate? Like, no, it wasn't. It's not small school, big school. It's, yeah. I was good at football, and, and I'm still good at football. Yeah, so I uh, always heard, like, you went to a small school, you didn't play anybody, but you know, I played both ways in high school, and that, that was truly what I thought was football and what was fun to me. And now I'm getting a chance to go back to defense and feel that again. I, I just, I love that. I love football for this reason, though. So. What would you tell fans, people that, that wonder about the culture here? and why you guys are able to do what you've done over the past four years. What would you tell them about why this culture is so strong? Each person here is willing to do whatever it takes to put the team in the best position to win. And, you know, we might dislike doing something, but that's second to the purpose that we have for winning and just second to the purpose that we have for success. So I think that's each person here and each individual on our team. And I think it, when the freshmen come in, they feel that and they see that from the older guys. and. That's just how we breed excellence around here. What movie did you go see last night? Uh, Bullet Train. Was it good? It was really good. Yeah. Enjoy. Had Brad Pitt in it. Right. Thanks, man. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah.